We no longer have to wait much longer, as the immense potential of Optimus seems to be just within reach. It's incredible how this robot is continuously upgraded and generating buzz everywhere. Tesla is the first company capable of producing humanoid robots at a cost of only $10,000. And currently, production is ramping up to thousands of units for a major project next year. However, Elon Musk recently confirmed plans to prepare for the production of 500,000 to 1 million Optimus robots. This is insane because it seems to be happening faster than we expected. If the Tesla bot costs only $10,000 to produce, as Elon Musk announced, and is eventually sold for $20,000, with millions or even billions of units produced as Musk predicts, oh my god, now we understand why he calls humanoid robots Tesla's biggest product. The Gen 3 version might have a higher price tag, but it is likely to be a premium version targeted at wealthy customers. Still, the Tesla Bot Gen 3 would remain the cheapest humanoid robot in the world. So, what makes it so affordable? Why can Tesla accelerate so quickly with the Optimus Bot? Welcome to Tesla Car World. As we all know, the Optimus project holds a special place for Elon Musk and Tesla. It is one of the most critical products to demonstrate that Tesla is not just an automaker, but a technology company. Elon Musk is confident that this robot will sell like hotcakes and will ultimately propel Tesla to become a $25 trillion company. We're not sure if you're interested in this robot, but at the moment, it seems we'll be facing intense competition if we want to own an Optimus robot in the near future. Late last year, Tesla sold out the Optimus action figure within just a few hours of its launch, proving its immense appeal, even as just a model. So, how much more popular will the official product be? But then, assuming things go well, we will we'll 10x that, that output next year. So we'll aim to do maybe up to 100,000 humanoid robots next year, and then 10x it again in the following year. It's like 500,000 robots in three years. Earlier this year, Elon Musk announced that Tesla would soon mass-produce 500,000 to 1 million robots by 2027. And this year alone, at least 5,000 to 10,000 Tesla bots are expected to be produced at Giga Texas. Following that, in 2026, this number will rise to 50,000 to 100,000 Optimus units. Musk genuinely believes that Tesla can scale Optimus production tenfold each year which might sound doubtful or even exaggerated if it were another company. But if it's Tesla, this is undoubtedly a very near future. We dare to bet Tesla is the only company capable of achieving this, because even the CEO of Boston Dynamics has admitted that Tesla can accomplish things Boston Dynamics has been striving for over 30 years. The Tesla team is are making great progress uh, in one year building uh, a couple of machines, you know, from scratch, you know, that's remarkable. Uh, they're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been arguing for 30 years. So I think that only helps us. Yeah. The truth is that if you have the best product, but it's five times more expensive, it doesn't mean you'll win. The market with lower priced products still exists. Even with Tesla's electric cars, the Model 3 and Model Y, which are more affordable, are still the best-selling models, even though the Model X and Model S have superior technology. However, their high prices create a barrier that makes it hard for them to reach customers. The reality is that every company wants their robots to be cheaper and more competitive, but most fail because they lack the potential to achieve that goal. Looking at the average price of humanoid robots, from China to North America, the price typically ranges from $80,000 to over $100,000. Some robots can't even be commercialized because their production costs are too expensive. A prime example is Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot, a major failure in humanoid robot history, after nearly a decade without progress in mass production, leading to its collapse. So, compared to creating a humanoid robot costing hundreds of thousands of dollars like other companies, Tesla can be optimistic about the price of only $20,000 for its robot. You also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, 10 or 20,000 dollars. Musk stated that Tesla only spends $10,000 to produce each Optimus robot, and he plans to sell them to customers for 20,000 dollars. 
This means that for every 100,000 robots sold, Elon Musk would make $1 billion in profit. We can imagine the profits pouring in, as Musk has mentioned that he plans to produce billions of Optimus robots and sell them to every country worldwide. Although he has little experience in the field of robotics, Elon Musk has been able to achieve mass production of Optimus robots at a low cost of just $10,000, partly thanks to the technology transfer from Tesla's electric vehicles to the Optimus robots. This means that the battery, motors, sensors, actuators, cameras, and many other large and small components of the Optimus robot are all manufactured by Tesla, leveraging their experience with electric vehicle parts, which make up a significant portion of the robot's cost. The in-house production at Giga Texas, which already has large-scale production lines, also helps to reduce the cost pressures on the Tesla bot. Everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. Elon Musk emphasized that the components originally developed for Tesla electric vehicles are being reused and integrated into the Optimus robot, accelerating the production process beyond typical timelines. This means that Tesla doesn't need to start from scratch or design a completely new set of components for Optimus. At the same time, the company significantly reduces its reliance on external suppliers. Thanks to this advantage, Musk is confident in setting the goal of producing thousands of robots by 2025 at the astonishing cost of just $10,000 per unit. The fact that Tesla doesn't need to buy robot parts from external suppliers has significantly reduced production costs. The battery pack used in Optimus alone has drastically cut costs, and the motors are also smaller versions of electric vehicle motors. Yeah, Optimus's brain inherits intelligence from FSD, Dojo Supercomputer, and any AI technology owned by Elon Musk, such as Grok and XAI. Musk emphasized that Tesla can create the most advanced humanoid robots in the world, similar to C-3PO in Star Wars, and Tesla is very skilled at manufacturing, which creates a gap between them and other companies. Tesla is confident that they are the world leader in practical AI. Musk stated that Tesla already has all the necessary components for a versatile humanoid robot that can be used on a large scale. The only issue is that in the early stages, Optimus still needs time to train, gather data, and improve its limited performance. Tesla just needs another year to achieve this, and 2026 will be the time when they are ready to sell Optimus. By that point, Optimus will be capable of performing almost any task users require. It will be smarter than ChatGPT with vast knowledge and data, and it will be able to answer any question and even use body language to vividly describe its answers, just like it did at the We Robot event last October. In the video updates from Tesla during the last three months of last year, Optimus was shown performing basic tasks such as watering plants, carrying groceries, cleaning the kitchen, and bringing items from the car into the house. Tesla introduced Optimus as a companion designed to support safety in various household tasks, from childcare to assisting the elderly. But you know currently, Optimus can engage in natural conversations, make friends with elderly people, and assist in educating children through its functions. These features demonstrate Optimus's potential for integration into daily life, proving that it is never a useless machine. Oh my god, all these tasks sound amazing. However, we bet that very few people truly think or believe that robots can work in homes, schools, and nursing homes. Will they fall, run out of battery, or need human control? There are countless questions, and many people are still hesitant, even too afraid to ask whether the Tesla bot is safe enough. And how does it take care of children? Yes, there are still many questions that need to be answered. We noticed that Tesla's continuous confirmation that Optimus is still being controlled remotely has left many people confused with most wondering, will it be autonomous when it hits the market? In our view, a humanoid robot wouldn't be truly useful if you had to program each action individually. This means that when you buy Optimus, you'll need to train it from scratch and control it to perform tasks, which could take a lot of time, right? However, don't get us wrong. Remote control of Optimus is only used to speed up its research and improvement process. AI models require massive amounts of data to train, but Tesla bot doesn't need to do this. If you show the robot enough examples, 
it will be able to perform tasks it was never explicitly taught. As Elon said, you just need to show it a video, and it will be able to perform that task. Elon Musk, in a recent post on X, mentioned that Optimus will be able to achieve this capability fully autonomously by next year. Musk said, easy move to connect AI vision with arm actuation to catch autonomously will be done next quarter. We are just testing the actuation and sensor system here. We are very excited and confident that this will happen sooner than expected, based on Tesla's current pace. Musk mentioned that they are in the process of redesigning Optimus. He admitted on X last year that reworking Optimus's design was one of the most challenging parts of the process, but it was necessary to achieve a design suitable for mass production. From what we know, this new design will belong to the Gen 3, a special version. As mentioned earlier, around 5,000 to 10,000 Optimus units are expected to be produced this year. The fact is, Tesla cannot accelerate the production of Optimus as quickly as electric vehicles in the initial phase because they lack experience with a dedicated production line, a topic we often discuss in episodes about Tesla Bot. Although many parts from electric vehicles are repurposed for Optimus, this doesn't mean that the method of building Optimus will resemble how an electric vehicle is made. They cannot share the same production line or product shape. On a small scale, Optimus is much more challenging to produce than an electric vehicle. Every part must be crafted to resemble the human body's essence as closely as possible. If you try to include too many components, actuators, or a large battery pack, the robot's weight will become too heavy to move. However, if the components inside Optimus are too limited, its performance will be extremely poor. This highlights the many challenges involved in creating a humanoid robot, particularly in the early stages. Not to mention, you also need to input data into the robot's brain so it can perform useful tasks based on that data. To put it simply, Optimus's brain will be entirely empty at the start. Therefore, Tesla engineers will need to fill it with as much data as possible. Inputting data into a humanoid robot isn't as simple as uploading programming codes into software and expecting Optimus to execute tasks based on those codes. This is incorrect. Optimus must be trained by performing tasks under remote control by engineers. During these tele-operated tasks, TeslaBot will collect even the smallest pieces of data from the tasks it performs. These tasks need to be trained repeatedly, not just once, but many times, until it has gathered sufficient data for that task. For example, it might take a week or more for it to learn how to wash dishes effectively. Initially, it might drop dishes, fail to clean them properly, or make other mistakes. With each failure, it will automatically correct and avoid that error in future attempts, ultimately becoming proficient. This is why throughout last year, teleoperated training for Optimus became common. It simply needed to be fed data through these training sessions. As seen in Optimus's demo video, when a battery cell fell out of its tray, Optimus automatically placed it back after recognizing it as an error. Tesla will train it for similar tasks, akin to how humans operate, right? In many situations, humans also make mistakes at first, but we learn and improve through those errors to perform better later. When robots are further trained with real-world data, they increasingly understand how to operate in the human world. However, Achieving full automation requires a lengthy training process, similar to how Tesla trains its self-driving cars. Now we want to provide more news about a new battery technology for electric vehicles, a type of battery that shortens charging time from 10% to 80% to under 10 minutes. In the rapidly changing world of technology, Svolt, a subsidiary of Great Wall Motors, is making a remarkable impact in the field of battery production for electric vehicles. Established with the mission of supporting GWM and powering its EV lineup, Svolt not only meets but exceeds expectations with breakthroughs in battery and fast charging technologies. This not only changes how we perceive electric vehicles, but also sets new standards for the future of the automotive industry. Imagine stopping at a charging station during a long trip and after just 9 minutes your car's battery is charged from 10% to 80%. This not only saves time, but also makes EVs a more practical option for many people. Svolt's advanced fast charging technology is a testament to the fact that EVs can compete directly with the convenience of traditional internal combustion engines. In reality, fast charging is mainly useful for long journeys. But what's even more remarkable is that you don't need to visit charging stations frequently. 
For most users, overnight home charging is sufficient for daily commuting needs. This demonstrates that EVs not only save time but also align with modern lifestyles where everything needs to be fast and convenient. Among S-Volt's significant innovations, the Fangxing short blade battery stands out, a key factor in achieving incredible fast charging speeds. The third generation version of this battery supports a 6C charge rate and can reach an energy density of up to 185 watt hours per kilogram, an impressive figure for lithium iron phosphate battery technology. LFP batteries are typically known for their high safety and durability, but their low energy density has been a major weakness. However, Savolt has successfully broken through this limit, elevating LFP batteries to a new level. This not only improves performance but also provides consumers with peace of mind regarding durability and safety in use. One of the standout features of S-Volt's battery technology is its outstanding durability. The short blade battery version not only supports fast charging, but also comes with a warranty of up to 15 years or 600,000 kilometers. This is a dream figure, even for the best internal combustion engines on the market. It's hard to find a gasoline or diesel vehicle with such a long warranty. This affirms that EVs are not only a smart choice, but also a sustainable investment for the future. Additionally, with increasingly advanced battery technology, some manufacturers like CATL have even achieved warranties of up to 1 million kilometers, a milestone never seen before in the automotive industry. With continuous improvements in battery technology, electric vehicles are getting very close to fully replacing internal combustion engines. Fast charging in just 8.5 minutes, long battery life, and stable operation in all weather conditions are key factors helping EVs come out on top. Another advantage of EVs is that they don't require oxygen to operate. This makes them an ideal choice for trips in high altitude regions, where internal combustion engines often struggle due to the thin air. With more and more countries aiming to switch to electric vehicles by 2030, consumers will have fewer reasons to continue using gasoline or diesel vehicles. Tesla could definitely consider these battery technologies as they have a lot of potential to make the performance changes more impressive. What do you think about Tesla bot and new battery technology? Thank you for watching our video. If you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting information about Tesla bot, Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next episodes.